this week on Faith Lift. Every prayer that you have prayed, the very first day that you pray, God heard you and God had answered you. That means when earth call, heaven always answer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm glad that you could join me on our show, Faith Lift. And today's word and message is so important to you. How many of you, as you're sitting here, you feel that you should be further on in life than what you are right now? How many of you feel that you should be further on financially than where you are right now? Maybe some of you, when you were younger, you had a prophetic word and you're still waiting for that word to be fulfilled. And it's been years and you haven't seen anything of any kind of breakthrough with, in regards to that word. Why? Well, that answer is so important because there is spiritual resistance and oppositions to your destiny. Just because you've got a prophetic word or just because God spoke a word into your spirit or because you had a dream or a vision from God doesn't mean it will automatically roll out. Satan will hinder you. <clears throat> today's message, I'm going to take the Apostle Paul as an example and then go through the Bible, show you how men who were called by God, like Moses, like <clears throat> Daniel, like the great Apostle Paul, like Barnabas, like Nehemiah, like Ezra, even though they all had a call from God and had a mission from God, they had a divine assignment, but yet they were resisted, opposed, and hindered by Satan. And the same thing is happening to you right now. And this is why today I want you to get your Bible. This message is so important. If you feel that you're being opposed, resisted, or hindered, then this message is for you. Now, by the end of this series, you will have all the tools as to how you can engage them to break resistance to your destiny. So let's get your Bible. Get your pen and your paper or your iPad or your notes. Get down some notes and listen to what I'm saying to you. And you'll be amazed at what you see throughout all the scriptures. We're going to break resistance to our destiny. You are going to break resistance to your destiny. Now, let's go into today's word. And I will see you after the break. Praise God. All right. Open your Bible with me, please, to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. And we're going to look at verse 18. Father, bless the reading of your word and the teaching of your word this morning in Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. amen. All right. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. The Apostle Paul is speaking. He says, Wherefore we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, now you need to underline this term, even I, Paul, Paul put there, put that in there for emphasis. Even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. I want you please to take note of this, uh, what expression was Paul just said. I wanted to come to you again and again, but Satan hindered us now by the word hindered write this word down please uh, the word hindered also means to be obstructed it means thwarted it means to block it means impeded or to impede I wanted to come to you but Satan impeded me Satan hindered me Satan blocked me now write this down please the word hindered here also means to resist. Satan resisted me and Satan opposed me. So write the word, by the word hindered, write the word oppose, resist, and then write this word down, withstand or withstood. Satan withstood me. Now, this is the great apostle Paul. This is the man who gave us the revelation of the authority of the believer. He's the one who told us, if you lift up your shield of faith, you will quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. He said to the Romans, he says, the God of peace shall bruise Satan shortly under your feet. Right? Now, how can he say here that I 
wanted to come to you, but Satan blocked me, Satan hindered me, Satan opposed me, Satan withstood me, and Satan resisted me. So my question to you this morning is this. If Satan can hinder, oppose, resist, and to withstand the Apostle Paul on his journey or in his destiny, don't you think that he will try to hinder you too? Right? So this morning I'm going to talk to you about breaking spiritual opposition to your destiny. Amen? Lift up your hands and say, I have a destiny. Say that you've got life this morning. Say, I have a destiny. And I will not be hindered. Now, now, look at this word. So by the word hinder, write the word oppose, resist, withstand, and thwart it. Now, let me show you in the Bible. Let's go to the book of Daniel, the 10th chapter. First of all, by 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, you notice that Paul was hindered on a personal level. But look at Daniel chapter 10. And you know that Daniel had to do with the destiny of the nation of Israel. Look what it says here, Daniel chapter 2, verse 1 till verse 13. And he said unto me, that's the angel after Daniel had fasted for 21 days. O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Now look at verse 12. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that you did set your heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I'm come for your words. In other words, the very first day that you prayed, God heard and God answered. Say amen. That means every prayer that you have prayed, the very first day that you prayed, God heard you and God had answered you. That means when earth call, heaven always answer. Say amen. Say when earth calls, come on, talk to me. Say when earth calls, heaven always answers. Amen. But the problem is, look at, look at the next verse, please. Let's all read verse 13 together. Let's read together, please. Verse 13, it says, But the prince of the kingdom of Persia did what? Withstood me. Now, can you see that word withstood? So by the word withstood, write the word hindered. And then write the word resist. And write the word oppose. The angel said, the first day that you prayed, the answer was released. And I was coming with your answer. But Satan, or the prince of Persia, hindered me, resisted me, and opposed me. So now you can see that the national destiny of Israel was being opposed. So you need to understand this morning that Satan will try to oppose and resist and hinder you on a personal level, but he will also try to hinder the national destiny of this nation. Oh, you're listening to me, somebody. All right, now, now let me show you another verse. Go to, with me to Zechariah chapter 3. Uh, Zechariah chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 1. This is talking about Joshua, who was about to rebuild the Joshua the high priest. This is not Joshua the prophet that succeeded Moses, but Joshua the high priest with Zerubbabel that were called by God to rebuild the temple. Now, look at this now. Look at verse 1. He says, And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to do what? To resist him or to oppose him or to thwart him or to hinder him. Can you see that? Right? So they had to do with the rebuilding of the temple. Now you need to understand something. Spiritual opposition sometimes is not just a what, it's a who. This is why the Bible tells you, who art thou, O great mountain? It is a, see proper English would say, what art thou, O great mountain? Because the mountain is an object. But the book of Zechariah says, who art thou, O great mountain? So a mountain and opposition can be a personality. Are you hearing me, somebody? Amen. It can be a demon or it can be a person. Amen. But every mountain, whoever they may be, they will be flat before you. Your amen is too weak this morning. 
whoever is coming before you will fall before you glory to God amen in fact let me show you another scripture I didn't get uh, go to Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 7 and verse 8 now you know that Nehemiah had to do with the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem and look what it says here Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 7 and verse 8 if you have it it says here and it came to pass verse 7 and verse 8 that when Sanballat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites look what it says here and the Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped that they were very angry let me tell you this morning when the walls of your life are getting rebuilt the devil will not be happy and there will be some people that will not be happy are you hearing me somebody amen but we don't care if they're happy or not as long as, as the walls of our life are being rebuilt we are okay with it amen say amen. amen they were not happy and look what happened next verse 8 and they conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Jerusalem and to do what to hinder it to oppose it to thwart it to stop it to resist it are you hearing me somebody the great apostle Paul said to us it was my purpose to come to you again and again but Satan hindered me and so we can see here that the great apostle Paul himself was being opposed resisted thwarted in his destiny on a personal level then as we peruse the page of the Bible you'll discover not only was Paul obstructed but Daniel also was obstructed and now Daniel had to do with the national destiny of Israel so Satan will not just oppose you and hinder you on a personal level but he will hinder the national destiny of your country. If Satan would dare to hinder Paul, don't you think he will try to hinder you in your destiny? Today's collection is Breaking Resistance to Your Destiny, which will open the eyes of your understanding to the covert work of witchcraft operating against you, show you how so many of the heroes of the Bible were opposed, resisted, and hindered, but learned how to break through, unveil the tactics of Satan to hinder you, and explain the forces you can engage to break the hindrances designed by the enemy to delay and frustrate you. We have such an incredible offer for you. Two books and two CD series that I believe will be a blessing for you. These are the tools available to you today that will help you to wield the weapon of faith, to wield weapons that will cause you to break spiritual oppositions to your destiny. This collection includes two books, Provoking Exploits Through the Force of Opposing Aggressive Faith and The Virtues of a Strong Spirit. You will also receive the two CD series, Breaking Resistance to Your Destiny. And as a special gift, when you order this powerful collection, we will also send you the single CD message, Breaking Hindrances to Your Destiny, completely free. You've got to take advantage of today's offer. I'm giving you tools and weapons that will cause you to break spiritual resistance to your destiny. Don't wait any longer. Call the number on your screen, 502-523-4407, 502-523-4407, and get ready to get some tools, to get some knowledge, to be able to deal with spiritual resistance to your destiny. Call now at 502-523-4407 or order online at glenarechion.org. The future belongs to you. Get this offer right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've been listening to the word I've been teaching and preaching about. This is such a crucial message for you. You know you've been called by God. You know you've got a word in your spirit about your future and about your destiny. And yet you are not in your place of destination. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Frustration is an indication that you are not in your place of destination. And so today... If you want to break spiritual resistance to your destiny, 
it is imperative for you to have goods, weapons that are available to you at your disposal to be able to deal with this satanic opposition. This is why today we have a special offer for you. My book, Provoking Exploits Through the Force of Imposing Aggressive Faith. You need this book to deal with the spiritual opposition against you. Now we also have this book, The Virtues of a Strong Spirit. Now, let me say to you this way. The weak will be exploited, but the strong will have exploits. The strong will break spiritual resistance, but the weak will be resisted all the days of their life. This is why this book is a must for you, The Virtues of a Strong Spirit. And then... We have this city series, which I've been teaching you about. Breaking resistance to your destiny. Breaking resistance to your destiny. That is a two CD series set that will cover everything that I've been teaching you about in its entirety. And then if you order this, this package together, then we will send you this free bonus CD, Breaking Hindrances to Your Destiny. So, you've got this book. Provoking exploits through the force of imposing aggressive faith. The virtues of a strong spirit. This is a serious breaking resistance to your destiny. And then the bonus CD message, breaking hindrances to your destiny. Now everything will come up to $45 plus shipping and handling. $45 plus shipping and handling. Now call the number on your screen. 502 523-4407, 502-523-4407, or go online at glenarecchion.org. I will see you soon. So right now you need to understand that there, are, there is a conspiracy right now by the devil and by our demons to stop you and to hinder you. Are you hearing me, saints? In your destiny. So you see, Paul was being hindered. Daniel was being hindered, right? Joshua the high priest was being hindered and opposed. And now we see Nehemiah was being hindered and being opposed. Are you hearing me, saints? All right, now go with me, please, uh, to the book of, uh, let's go to First Chronicles chapter 21 and verse 1. This is David at the apex of his administration. And look what happened here. First Chronicles chapter 21 and verse 1. First Chronicles chapter 21 verse 1 says, And Satan stood up, or one Bible says, And Satan rose up and resisted and provoked David to number Israel. Now can you see here how Satan was trying to hinder the administration of David? Are you hearing me, saints? All right, so you can see so far, Paul the apostle on a personal level, Daniel on a national level, Joshua, amen, in the rebuilding of the temple, now, uh, Nehemiah in the rebuilding of the wall was being hindered, and here David was being hindered. Now, go with me, please, uh, to the book of uh, Acts, the 13th chapter, verse 1 till verse 8. Let me show you this. Uh, I'm going to show you a few verses, then get you to where I want to go. Acts 13, verse 1 till verse 8. Look what it says here. Now, there were in the church that was in Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger and Lucius of Cyrene and Manian which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. Now let's all read verse 2 together please. As they ministered unto the Lord or as they worshipped the Lord and fasted what happened next? The Holy Ghost said everybody said the Holy Ghost said not a man, but the Holy Ghost said. Now, when you hear from the Holy Ghost, you will have the plan of God unfolded before you. Is that correct? All right, it says, uh, separate unto me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them. Now, so they've discovered the plan of God for their life. Look at verse 3. And when they had fasted and prayed, they laid hands upon them and they sent them away. Now, they, now, let me ask you a question. Were they in the will of God? Did they hear from the Holy Ghost? Did they have the plan of God for their life? Were they obedient to God? Right? So you would think everything is fine. Right? Look at verse 4. Everybody now. Verse 4. Read verse 4 together with me, please. So, they being sent by who? 
by the Holy Ghost 100% in the will of God. Is that correct? Now, they departed to Seleucia. All right, now, let's come down to verse 6. Ready? When they had gone through the isle unto Paphos, they found a what? A certain sorcerer on the line of your Bible. A sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar-Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to heal the word of God. Everybody read verse 8, please. Where do you want to go? But Eliamus, the who? The sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation. What, what's the next word? Withstood. Give me another word for withstood. Hindered or resist or oppose. Now, I thought that Paul and Barnabas were in the will of God. They were. But nonetheless, they were being resisted. Their gospel, their ministry on a ministerial level, they were being resisted. Are you hearing me, saints? And that's where many of us miss it. We think that the moment we hear from God, that the road will be smooth. Huh? Are oh, you hearing me saying? It's not always the case. Hallelujah. He says, Elimus the sorcerer, look at the word sorcerer and write the word witchcraft. You need to understand one of the greatest spiritual opposition to your destiny will be witchcraft. Are you listening? Now, what is the purpose of witchcraft? He says, he withstood them and seeking to Turn away. The whole purpose of witchcraft is to deviate you from your destiny. Are you listening? Because sometimes when we think of witchcraft, all kind of thing comes into our mind. But witchcraft, Paul says, who has bewitched you, O Galatians, that you should not obey the truth. Witchcraft is knowing the truth and don't do it. Are, are you listening? And so witchcraft tried to deviate you from the place that God has for you. Are you listening to me, saints? So notice here that Paul and Barnabas was being opposed on a ministerial level. Say amen, saints. All right, let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 3. So, so far we've seen Paul being opposed on a personal level. Daniel on a national level, Joshua in the rebuilding of the temple, Nehemiah in the rebuilding of the wall, David in his administration, are you hearing me saints? And now Paul and Barnabas in their ministry. Now, look at this, 2 Timothy chapter 3. The apostle Paul rips the veil and shows you what was going on in the ministry of Moses. And what you're about to read here is something you never read in the book of Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Look what it says here. The book of uh, 2 Timothy, please, chapter 3. <clears throat> Look in your Bible, please. Verse 8 and verse 9. Watch this. Verse 8. And the great apostle Paul said to us, It was my purpose to come to you again and again, but Satan hindered me. And so we can see here that the great apostle Paul himself was being opposed, resisted, thwarted in his destiny on a personal level. Then as we peruse the page of the Bible, you'll discover not only was Paul obstructed, but Daniel also was obstructed. And now Daniel had to do with the national destiny of Israel. So Satan will not just oppose you and hinder you on a personal level, but he will hinder the national destiny of your country. If Satan would dare to hinder Paul, don't you think he will try to hinder you in your destiny? Today's collection is Breaking Resistance to Your Destiny, which will open the eyes of your understanding to the covert work of witchcraft operating against you, show you how so many of the heroes of the Bible were opposed, resisted, and hindered, but learned how to break through, unveil the tactics of Satan to hinder you, and explain the forces you can engage to break the hindrances designed by the enemy to delay and frustrate you. We have such an incredible offer for you. Two books and two CD series that I believe will be a blessing for you. These are the tools available to you today that will help you to wield the weapon of faith, to wield weapons that will cause you to break spiritual oppositions to 
your destiny. This collection includes two books, Provoking Exploits Through the Force of Opposing Aggressive Faith and The Virtues of a Strong Spirit. You will also receive the two CD series, Breaking Resistance to Your Destiny. And as a special gift, when you order this powerful collection, we will also send you the single CD message, Breaking Hindrances to Your Destiny, completely free. You've got to take advantage of today's offer. I'm giving you tools and weapons that will cause you to break spiritual resistance to your destiny. Don't wait any longer. Call the number on your screen, 502-523-4407, 502-523-4407, and get ready to get some tools, to get some knowledge, to be able to deal with spiritual resistance to your destiny. Call now at 502-523-4407 or order online at glenarechion.org. The future belongs to you. Get this offer right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the greatest story ever told, needs to go around the world now more than ever. We are living at the end of the end days and Satan knows his time is short and has been flooding the airwaves with all kinds of demonic deceptions. The non-compromising gospel needs to be preached clearly and with boldness. God has called me to preach in our great nation of America and to the nation of the world. I have been traveling extensively around the world since 1990 and have been faithfully declaring and equipping believers in the scriptures. Over the years, thousands have been saved in our ministry, thousands have been filled with the Holy Spirit, and thousands have been healed. When you partner with this ministry, you will also partake in the heavenly rewards for every soul that is saved. I need you to partner with me financially. I need your financial support to get this gospel to the nations through television and other means. Your finances will help me to get it to more homes and go to more places through television, the internet, publications, and in person. Some of you can sell $20, $50, $100, or even more and be part of this end time harvest of souls. Now, when you become a partner with this ministry, it's not only a one-way system with just you sowing, but we sow back into your life monthly with a partner letter and an encouraging audio message to boost your faith. Every month, Glen Oreckin Ministries will sow into your life spiritually as you sow into this ministry financially. God bless you.